Everybody, let's talk NFL mock drafts. I'm going to give you my NFL mock draft. I'm not going to break down every single reason why I picked somebody. We don't need that long of a video, but I'm going to give you my mock draft. I'm going to pause in between, um, just kind of highlight the top 10 and the top 15, and then we'll go from there. Um, and I might you know, have a different option or opinion on why someone's taking something. Uh, so saying that, let's get into this. Uh, Panthers, we all know, got the number one pick right now. So I got the Carolina Panthers actually taking C.J. Stroud over Bryce Young. I think Bryce Young will fit better in the Texans program, and I think C.J. Stroud being a pocket passer is going to fit better in the Carolina. Listen, Carolina already went through that running quarterback thing, and, and listen, it's, it's over. But I think Carolina needs to build uh, around him. I actually wanted C.J. Stroud to go to the Colts, that's where I thought he would fit best at. Um, but Carolina has different, a uh, different um, mindset. They want to go get one of the top two quarterbacks, and I think they're going to end up picking the taller uh, quarterback in C.J. Stroud. So I got Panthers picking up C.J. Stroud, quarterback out of Ohio State, which gives me Bryce Young at number two in Texans, picking him up, quarterback out of Alabama. I think Bryce is uh, going to be put into a position to have to win now to show himself. So it all depends on how the Texans actually come out of this first round, being the fact that they have multiple picks um, setting themselves up. They, they need to build a receiving core around Bryce that, that fits Bryce. And we'll get to that as we go down. But I think Bryce, Young's, Bryce Young will, will fit well into the Texans program. Um, Cardinals, I think, will pick up Will Anderson. I think Will Anderson the best defensive player coming out of the draft. And I think he goes to the Cardinals as an edge for from Alabama. Colts will pick up Anthony Richardson. Why? I don't know. I have a toss up. Anthony Richardson to me needs to be in a program that can sit two years. I thought that Carolina would pick him up and then have someone actually play for a year or two before he had to get in. Um, now my mind's changed because of what they made a move. They made a move to need a quarterback that wants to play now. Um, the Colts are probably going to look at uh, Anthony Richardson as he has the highest ceiling, which he does. If you can get him the right production out of – if the coaches can get the right production out of him, the right growth out of him, he has the highest ceiling, right? But Will Levis has that Rossenberger can probably play a little bit better right now. He has the higher floor. So I was a little surprised I went with this, but I'm thinking in the mindset of well, where the Colts are looking at. You know, they have Jonathan Taylor back there running the ball. You know, they now you have a double run, deep threat, read option program you can put into this. Um, so I'm going to pick with the Colts goes Anthony Richardson over Will Levis. Uh, next one will be the Seattle Seahawks will pick Jalen Carter, defensive tackle out of Georgia. I think this is huge for Seattle to pick if they pick him up. I think he has growth he needs to work on and, and things that he needs to do, but I do think he's the second best defensive player. Um, so, yeah, great pickup for Seattle moving forward. I think they need a better quarterback for the future, but uh, I don't think they, they get it right now, uh, not, not in the first round. Uh, Detroit will pick up Brian Branch. So I, I went with Brian Branch because I picked him to be my 1A and Joey Porter to be my 1, uh, 1B. But I'll be honest with you, there's three corners that are in this draft that I think can go one, two, or three in any direction. And I think a lot of people are going to pick outside of what I picked and go with, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Gonzalez out of Oregon. I think Gonzalez out of Oregon will be most people's number one corner going out. Mine's going to be with the more level-headed um, production-type corner going because I'm putting him in Detroit. And I think that's what Detroit's going to look for. And so I, that's where I – listen, Detroit, I know you screw up a lot of stuff, so who knows? I might be wrong. But I think Brian Branch will fit better at Detroit, and that's why I picked him there. And Raiders at number seven, I got them going Will Levis. So it opened up because I think, listen, there's opportunities for many quarterbacks at that next level outside of CJ and Bryce. I think they're one level, and then I think there's a second level and a third level. And so they have a lot of options, but Will Levis is like a, a, a Rothenberger, Rothenberger. And I think if you give him the tools, he's going to get stuff done. Uh, but I, I – listen – Raiders need to work on that defense. They need to, they need to work on um, 
the whole team as an all and as well. So we'll see what they do with quarterback. We'll see, you know, which direction they do. Maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong. And the Raiders say, <laughs> we're going to try to find a quarterback that's already playing in the NFL and go with defense number one and try to get a quarterback later on. But I think, I think they go with Will Levis at, at um, the Raiders. Let's look at Atlanta, Nolan Smith. I picked Nolan Smith. I think he, I'm picking him a little higher than most people would probably pick Nolan Smith as an edge out of um, out of Georgia, but I like him, man. He's fast, he's long, he's got a great vertical leap to knock down the balls. Uh, I think it'd be a, a crime to, to wait on this guy if, if you're looking for an edge. Um, honestly, outside of Will Anderson, I don't think I would pick another edge over uh, Nolan. So I, I'm gonna pick Atlanta, goes with Nolan, and that's good for me because they're not in my division. So. He's, he's a great uh, player, and plus he gets to stay in Georgia. Bears. I got the Bears picking Paris Johnson Jr., offensive tackle out of Ohio State. The Bears need to protect. I mean, they need to protect fields. But they also need playmakers and wide receivers as well. Um, I mean, they have a lot they got to get. But if you're not protecting the, the quarterback, he ain't gonna, and he don't have time to throw the ball down the field, there's issues. He shouldn't have to think run first and pass. So I think they're going to start thinking about that blind side. And uh, I think Paris Johnson Jr. is is perfect. He has he has longer arms. I think he is he's had more pro, a better production against higher uh, level of, of competition um, compared to the other guy I'm going to mention, which people, a lot of people might have him going to the Bears, but I, I I don't. I think I think this is the best offensive tackle coming out of college right now. Um, let's go to number 10, the Eagles, Tyree Wilson, edge out of Texas Tech. A lot of people got him going to Detroit or not Detroit, my, my bad, but going to Atlanta. I don't see it. I mean, I do think he's the top 10, top 15 player, but I'm not, I'm not going to put him above Nolan, but I think it's a good pick for, for the Eagles. They, they got to get that, uh, that edge. They, they want to keep that defense. They're playing in, in a league that the defense, uh, the pass rush is going to matter with quarterback play because the quarterback play is just getting better and better inside of the NFC East. Um, so I think it's a great pick for them. So that's my top 10, who I think is going to go in the top 10. Uh, where I'm right, where I'm wrong, we'll find out. Um, maybe you have a difference in your top 10, put it in there. We're not going to go all top 32, who's going to go, but we'll go top 15. How about that? And, and when I'm done with my top 15, if you have somebody else you thought's better, let me know. All right, let's speed this thing up some. Tennessee will pick Peter Skronowski out of Northwestern. That's the other offensive tackle that I think can go with Paris Johnson, 1A, 1B. Texans will pick Smith, uh, Jackson smith Medigna to help Bryce Young in the slot. And it will be the best pickup they got to be able to help him out to move the ball. I think that's a great matchup with those two. The Jets will also go wide receiver, continue to build that wide receiver core group. And they will go get Quentin Johnson, uh, uh, Johnston out of TCU. Uh, big guy, great vertical leap. It's going to work out well. New England will go get Joey Porter Jr. as a corner. Again, I picked him over Christian Gonzalez, even though a lot of people won't. Uh, Green Bay will go get Michael Mayer tight end, and that's my top 15 tight end out of Notre Dame. I think the tight ends are continuing to be a, a big star in the in the NFL today. Um, we've seen the Chiefs use the tight ends really, really well, as well as San Francisco. I think tight end play is going to – and the Cowboys, too, they like to use the tight end a lot. So tight end play is important, and blocking is important, and first downs is important as a safety zone. Watching linebackers and safeties try to cover these tight ends, and it's just not a good matchup. So um, Michael Mayer goes to the top 15. 16, Washington, good, uh, Christian Gonzalez, cornerback out of Oregon, which is a steal because he's actually a top 10 player, but he's going to go to 16, so that's a steal for them. Uh, Pittsburgh will get uh, – uh, Jones, offensive tackle from Georgia, uh, 18. Detroit will get B. John Robinson, running back out of Texas, which is the best running back in the draft. Tampa will get uh, Devon uh, Witherspoon, corner out of Illinois, which is actually supposed to be one of the top corners. 
Uh, that's I think is a steal for Tampa. Seattle will get Jordan Addison, wide receiver out of USC. I think he'll be a great slot. He's a little short for a, a, a wide receiver, but uh, he is fast. He is so fast, and he's a threat. Um, I got him right under Smith Majigna when it comes to a slot kind of receiver. Uh, Miami forfeited at 21. 22, L.A. Chargers will get Dalton uh, Kincaid, uh, Tight end out of Utah, another tight end picked up. And like I said, if I mess any of these names up, uh, listen, don't stoke me to the fire. Just calm down. Uh, Baltimore, 23, will get Cam Smith, cornerback out of SC. Um, and that's South Carolina, not USC. So stop all that debating. Uh, Miami will get Lucas Van Ness, edge out of Iowa. A lot of edges, a lot of wide receivers. Um, about to come out of this draft right here. Uh, number 25, Jacksonville will pick up Antonio Johnson, uh, safety out of Texas A&M. Look at Texas A&M getting somebody. Whoa. Uh, number 26, Giants will get Keely Ringo, a corner out of, uh, out of Georgia. Georgia continued to pile up the number one draft picks. Looking good. Uh, Cowboys will get Osiris Torrance, uh, guard out of Florida, trying to work on that offensive line. They're getting a little old, a little beat up, so it's time to start renovating the offensive line over there in, in Dallas. The Bills will go get Gibbs, Jameer Gibbs out of Alabama, running back, getting that speed over there at the Bills. Cincinnati will go get Miles Murphy from Clemson, edge runner, another edge coming out. And Clemson's about to hit it hard at the end of the first round. Because I got New Orleans taking Brian Bus, uh, Brosey, uh defensive tackle out of Clemson. And I got Philly taking uh, Trenton Simpson, linebacker out of Clemson as well. Three Clemson players coming out right there. And we're going to end it all with uh, the Chiefs taking Antoine Harrison, offensive tackle out of uh, Oklahoma. Another tackle going, listen, edge, tackles, wide receiver. We see like there's a lot of need for these uh, few players and um, I'm, I'm excited. And where I, where I went right, where I went wrong, we'll find out when we do the NFL draft. So I'm looking forward to that. Please comment. Please subscribe, share, and like. Let me know in the top 15 if, if I got something different than you. I want to I want to hear your opinions as well. Let's not do 32 because well, we really don't know all 32. This is just our mock draft. And we'll find out the truth here soon. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And you have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you.